Hi there, traders. Welcome to the week ahead analysis video with me, John, Senior Market Analyst here at Blueberry Market. So I'm going to be taking you through some weekly Forex trading ideas as well as some key data coming up this week. So uh, we've actually got a yen bank holiday on Monday or Japan bank holiday, which is going to impact the Japanese yen. Obviously, we've seen a lot of yen strength last week. Intervention from the yen disguised in the US CPI data was quite interesting to see. So I uh, wonder if we'll get a little bit of a fade of that going into this week we've got some us data on the board as well we've got retail sales core retail sales we've also got federal reserve chairman powell speaking as well as the unemployment claims for the week but in terms of europe we've got some big data we've got the ecb interest rate decision expected to hold interest rates at 4.25 percent and in canada we've got cpi data so we're looking to see will that cpi data come in a little bit lower or will it still remain fairly elevated above that two percent target going on to sentiment then this week so the currency strength meter had a really good week last week with the currency strength meter um, if you want to check out the previous video please do go back and have a little look at it all appear at the end of this video so stick around for that one um, but we've seen some changes again pound euro still the sort of stronger currencies at the moment japanese yen coming into the mix now moving from minus five uh, to zero so that's a movement of plus five and uh, going to see if that's going to get faded this week or whether we'd see a continue of that going on to the us dollar index then breached that trend line support again broke through that 50 moving average broke below 105s and now we're back at that 104 handle now the last time we were in this zone we saw buyers stepping in and the market moved higher we saw that kind of on thursday buyers step back in but on friday price continued to uh, revert and push back lower so this area is very very important to dollar buyers so i think we're gonna have a, maybe a little bit of a battle here this week and i wouldn't be surprised if we did see a pullback from this level but at the same time the dollar data has been really really poor so i expect maybe a, a move down the market's going to try and price in that cpi move now so it'll be interesting to see if the dollar continues to weaken off the back of that a break below this kind of 104 sort of um or 103 70s would be very interesting to me as it would open up a move towards 102 spot 50 Going on to Euro, US yes, dollar then rally into the upside. Three consecutive strong weekly candles here. Um, we're coming up into a level of resistance at 1.09. If we can reject that, we might see some short term downside at the beginning of the week. Going on to the US dollar yen then. So this is a very important market at the moment. Obviously, this was a little bit of intervention here off the back of that CPI data. But are we going to see that move faded now? Potentially, we're going to see the Bank of Japan hike interest rates, but um, it's just been talk recently. Until we actually see it, I don't think the market's going to take too much notice. I think they're going to want to actually see them go ahead and, and try and actually uh, increase those interest rates physically. Well, we need to see it because they just keep talking about it, not really taking up action. So is the market going to keep calling their bluff? And uh, we're at the 50 moving average here on this daily chart. We're right into this potential 157 volume support. So we could rebound from here. And this is something I'm going to be looking at going into this trading week. Finally, gold back up at the key area, that $2,420 area. This area of volume got retested last week. We rejected it. And now the market's trying to test it again. So on the four hour chart, what I'll be looking for is does price want to stay within this range or do we try and break to the upside now obviously if the dollar continues to weaken then a breakout to the upside is a little bit more likely with 24 50 spot 59 being that main high that formed recently if we do breach to the downside though then we could maybe move back towards 23 50s but i'm expecting more of a move higher but we'll see how it reacts reacts do buyers continue on wanting to push price through highs i don't typically like to get long at highs so i would like to see a bit more of a pullback first but hopefully we have a good trading week again this week thank you for watching the videos i really appreciate it if you did like it hit that thumbs up and i'll speak to you soon